Hey there. I think it's time we had a really honest conversation about manifesting. This video is going to be helpful for you if you are somebody who wholeheartedly understands and agrees that there is this thing called the law of attraction and that you are a powerful force in the world and that you can attract things to you. But maybe you've read one or 10 books on manifestation. Maybe you've taken one or 10 programs on how to manifest things in your life. And maybe it's still really not working for you. Now, this is a bit of a bugbear of mine because unfortunately in the coaching industry, there is so much hogwash when it comes to so much misinformation and incomplete information when it comes to manifesting, what it actually really takes. So I wanted to share some really important pieces that you might not be clear about that I just shared with a one-on-one -on -one client and I was like, this is too important not to share. So I imagine that this will be one of several videos over a period of time, maybe even its own course at some point in time, specifically about the honest fucking truth about manifestation and what it actually takes to genuinely create the things that you want in your life. So this is one really important piece that so many people don't understand. Now, for this conversation to make sense, you will need to have a familiarity with or look up now the Levels of Consciousness by David Hawkins. Now, you do a quick Google search of that and you should get an image that looks like a funnel that has a whole lot of so-called negative emotions down the bottom that move up to more neutral emotions that move up to very positive emotions, okay? Um, and when I say negative, I mean things that feel bad, <laughs> things that feel neutral, and then things that feel really good, okay? Now, if you are somebody who has subscribed to a lot of the teaching of Abraham that's channeled by Esther Hicks, you will already be familiar with this image. Um, Abraham taught a version of this called, uh, actually, let me just look up there, oh, the emotional guidance scale, okay? That's what Abraham called it. It is the same thing. Where it came from first, probably Hawkins, it doesn't matter. When you look at that image, and if you haven't pulled it up, just pause the video now, go and find the image so you're really clear what I'm talking about. For you to manifest, for you, me, for us as human beings, to draw into our life the things that we want, we need to be in a state of receivership. We, Our body, our physical body needs to be vibrating. I said physical and vibrating. Our energetic body has to be uh, vibrating in such a way it will physically feel good and we will call it things that are high on that levels of consciousness or emotional guidance scale. Hopefulness, um, love, joy, appreciation. We will be vibrating very high. We will be in a high frequency or a high vibration. These are some of the terms that people use, right? You will be feeling good in your body and happy to be alive, right? Um, and that's where all the cool stuff can come to you. That's where your body feels safe to receive the things that you want. Your ability to receive is, is when you're in those, emo you're experiencing those emotional states. That's how you know you're in a high frequency, okay? And a high enough frequency for you to bring in, receive the things that you have asked for. Now, there is such a focus in the coaching world about tapping on the positive. If you've done uh, m much work with me or you have much of a uh, an, uh, an understanding of or a practice of tapping, you know, this stuff, right? I do a lot of it. Um, but whether it's this or it's journaling or it's just um, a focusing, doing affirmations and mantras and focusing on the positive, however you do it, visualizations, vision boards. But if we don't look at the stuff that's lower on that image, so have a look at the image now and notice some of the words that are lower. You might not be right down the bottom at like powerlessness, grief, despair, shame, guilt. You might not be that low. But even if you are in like frustration, 
or um, uh, anger or worry, right? Any of these things that feel um, bad, when we feel these emotions, it feels bad in our body. And maybe it's not as overwhelming as like deep-seated grief or total humiliation, but it still doesn't feel good and we still don't like how it feels, right? If we try and ignore how that feels and just focus on the positive, our body is still vibrating at the stuff we're not willing to look at. So if you want to increase the amount of time you spend in a high vibration so you can receive things in, then when you feel angry, you need to bring your loving presence and be with a part of you that feels angry. Even if you only be with it for 30 seconds and that's as much as you can stand. Okay? When you realize you're frustrated and then you quickly mentally reframing of, oh, I should be grateful for blah, blah, blah. Please don't do that. <laughs> Instead, take one minute or two minutes to be with the part of you that feels frustrated. And you can move with it if you have a movement practice. You can tap with the frustration if you know how to do that. I'll put links below this video if you want to learn how to do that with me. Um, but be with the part of you that feels like shit, please. Because that's how you shift the baggage, that heavy baggage that's stopping you from being up the top of that image, okay? To spend the maximum amount of time in a state of receivership high vibration, up feeling, gratitude, love, joy for the maximum amount of your day, you have to be willing to look at the parts of you that feel like crap. And even if you only have capacity to be with that worry for one minute and to be with it and to love the heck out of it, oh, this part of me that's really worried, let me be with you like I'd be with a really worried little child. Whew, that's enough. Can't do any more. Great. So you stop. And every time you can do that, every time you can meet a part of you that feels something lower than neutrality. Okay. There should be something on one of the images that you come up, uh, that you've pulled up. There should be something about neutrality or contentment, um, something that feels very. I'm fine. Everything below the I'm fine level, see if you can meet it a little bit at a time in a titrated way, as we'd say in the somatic world. Drop, drop, drop. Little bit, little bit, little bit. And what happens over time is you release those anchors that are holding you down in these lower vibrations that you don't want to be in and that you know block your ability to manifest things. So, I hope this video was helpful. If you did find it helpful, you can share it with anybody who you feel like needs to hear this message. Please do that. Be a career for this message. Um, of course, you can do things like subscribe to this channel if you know you like me and you want more of the stuff that I talk about. If you want notifications sent to your email uh, when I release new videos, you just hit the notification bell and that will take care of it for you magically, however it does that. Um, and... There's always below all of my videos here on YouTube um, in the description section, more resources than anything I mentioned during the video, I'll always put below there. Bye for now.